이거Since we've talked, I think it's been about close to two weeks. Because the latest video was more of a gym in it. I didn't really talk in that one. Uh, what the fuck? Appointment. Really? No, at the gym. Actual. <laughs> I'm recording my YouTube video right now. You what? I'm recording my YouTube video. Music video? YouTube video! Two weeks now. Uh, during that two week break where I didn't post, I just couldn't really think of anything to post. I like recorded two or three videos, but I didn't really like any of them, so I just opted out. But you can see I got a haircut. How's it look? Honestly, it's alright. It's not giving anything though. It's not giving. But it is a lot better than the haircut I got before this one. Last time I got a haircut was the end of August. So I was like, that's like three months, no haircut. And my hair was like, my hair was long before this, as you all saw. But three months, it should be a lot longer, in my opinion. But I kind of miss it. I miss my hair. I miss the flow. During the two weeks, I was kinda consistent. I did, I think I went like three or four days without going to the gym, which is my bad. But it was Thanksgiving. Could have went, honestly, but there was just like a lot of functions and parties that, not a lot, but like two or three. And uh, so I just went to those. Got disgustingly drunk. Or I got crossed. I physically couldn't keep my body up. And that was like the first time for me. Definitely not doing it again. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm not much of a drinker. Don't really like drinking. It's not... It doesn't taste good. And it doesn't really feel that great. Honestly, this whole past week, I've just been reflecting a lot. Or reflecting on stuff about me. Like, what I like to do, what it is that I feel like I can improve on, shit like that. Same old, same old. I just watched a video, and it was like a girl talking about how it's okay to not have friends. I'm not saying I don't have any friends. I just don't have friends near me. You know, we've talked about this. And... It do be getting boring sometimes. But it reminds me of those memes where it's like that one unemployed friend on a Thursday afternoon. That type of shit. We really just be living to work? Or what? Lately, I've just been like enjoying like spending time with myself. The parties that I went to on Thursday, on Thanksgiving, 
Actually, no, it was Wednesday and Thursday. So it was like the day before Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving. Like, hanging out with that group, they're just constantly drinking and it's just not my vibe, you know? Not my scene. And uh, being around them kind of drains me. And all I could think about was how I wanted to go home. Like, I just pull up to parties to eat and then go home. But it's not very polite or proper to just pull up and eat their food and then go home. But deep down inside, that's what I want to do. When I think about these past couple months, just me going to the gym and like talking to you guys, probably the most like therapeutic or exciting thing that I've done. Is what I look forward to. I mean, I wish I could talk to you guys like every day, but you know, it's just gonna be the same old topics and that would be kind of boring to, to talk about. But this shit is like a form of therapy. Yeah, it's like kind of like journaling, but not journaling. Like, although I'm not talking to anyone currently, it still feels like I'm talking to some. It just like gets shit off my mind. And so that's why I enjoy it so much. I hope I continue to do this like throughout time. Like I said, I watched the video and uh, they talked about how they didn't really have friends. Like, I've been watching a lot of YouTubers, like, who are pretty popular. And they look like, you know, they're very lively people. But they rather spend time alone. And it's just kind of envious, you know. I like to think I like to spend time alone. But one thing that they mentioned was it's okay to feel lonely when you're, like, just you know, hanging out by yourself. And I think that's something, like, a lot of guys have a hard time dealing with. It's just, like, kind of accepting how you feel. And not, basically not shaming yourself for feeling, like, a certain way. That's another thing. My friend, she told me before that, you know, let's say when you're, like, really unproductive, um, a lot of people will kind of feel bad or, like, talk down on themselves, like, Oh, why can't I be productive? Why am I lazy? Stuff like that. But it's like, if you shame yourself for feeling that way, then it's like, it's kind of counterintuitive because first you hate that you feel that way. And second, it's like, it makes you feel worse. And when you feel worse, you just don't do what you do. You know, instead of, instead of saying like, oh, it's okay to be lazy right now. I'll just, I'm just lazy right now. And later on, I'll be productive. Instead of doing that, you're just gonna tell yourself like, oh, I'm so lazy, I hate myself, like, why am I like this? And then it just makes you not wanna be productive. I think that's something that I've struggled with a lot. The whole not accepting who I am, how I feel, that type of shit. I think it has to do a lot with like how you're brought up, you know? But it's like so wired into our brains and like our routine that we don't even realize that it's a problem. So yeah, I'll probably have to do more research on that type of stuff because it is something I lack in. The first step to change is awareness. And so you got to give yourself points for that. If you want a new life, you got to abandon the old one. Or like if something's not working, then you got to change the way you do things. And that's something I thought about today. I think it was like on the way back from the haircut. Oh, by the way, I drove four hours or not, not four hours, two hours to the haircut place. I spent an hour cutting my hair and then two hours back exhausting truly but i've been thinking a lot about like if you want to like have a new experience or like change a certain like aspect of about yourself then you have to change the way you usually go about things for example like this is the biggest i've been physically i know it's because I've, I've changed up my like workout scheme, workout routine. It's the biggest I've been, but not the leanest. And that's because diet wise, I'm still just like eating the same type of food. Financially, I've been kind of the same, but now we're like trying out a new thing. And hopefully that leads to a change in like status, financial status. And emotionally, I've grown emotionally, but it could be better, you know, but that's just, I gotta do more research and put more of an effort towards it. It's like I've changed emotionally, but I fall back into old habits, which is fine, as long as you're progressing. Like I know for me, I think emotional change has been the hardest 
emotionally and like mindset wise has been the hardest but I don't know if that's like for everyone because to me in my opinion I think it's the hardest because I can't really see the growth so it's more of like that delayed gratification but even then it's like how can you tell the difference if I were to react a certain way now and I can I would know like back then I would probably react differently that's one way but it's like overall how can you see and I think that's why it's the hardest for me because like physically I can see the growth not every week but like maybe like every couple weeks or every month and financially you know well you know you can see it pop up in your bank account and it's crazy because like like just thinking about it I always thought like individual success my self success was the most important part and I think it still is but like if I'm like standing back and looking I feel like I put the most effort actually I wouldn't say that I wouldn't I was gonna say I put the most effort into emotional growth but it like comes and goes I think it's it's definitely the hardest one and so that's why it like it's really like feeling dependent like as in like whenever I feel like growing then that's when I'll focus on emotional growth but like financial and like physical it's like it's just easier to me so that's why I just like constantly do it like gym wise even some like when I don't want to go I'll just make myself go and like financially I just gotta like uh, put my head down and like dial in and put some effort towards like the business or whatever. Oh, speaking of that, my thing's ready to go. Business should launch in about probably 25 to 35 days. So that's sick. Uh, wish me luck. Actually, don't. I, I, I have a really bad time with like, people wishing me luck. So don't wish me luck. Just don't say anything. Looking from afar, it seems like I care more about like emotional growth in the past like few years. Because I think, like, that has to do with your mental health, right? And it's like, if your brain's not working correctly, then it's like, nothing, like, you're not going to be able to do anything. So that's why I feel like it's so important to me. But also it's because, like, that's the area the area where I feel like I lack. I'll definitely be a lot more conscious of it, but it's, I don't know, it's pretty hard, pretty tough. But just like everything, we can always work towards it just might take a little bit more time. Why is it so packed today? I hate the beginning of the week. All these fuckers. All right, just got to the gym. I'll talk to you guys afterwards. Chest day is never as hard as leg day. This shirt makes me look massive, I swear. <sighs> Call me Toji. Just kidding. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I forgot what I was talking about when I, before I got in. I think I was talking about emotional growth. That shit do be stupid hard. Um, yeah, but like I said, like it has to do with your mental health, right? I was looking into it and they said like people who have like some type of mental health disorder like depression or somewhat 
it's like they have a hard time. They either like don't get enough sleep or they oversleep or they like don't eat at all or they like eat a lot, like binge eat, binge eat. They procrastinate a lot. And I'm just like, I swear I've been like that since like 13, 14. Like this shit is normal behavior. And I feel like a lot of people are like that too. But apparently it's some type of like, cause you know, like everyone procrastinates. And I guess my cousins kind of like sleep on time. But me, I'm like either oversleeping or like just not sleeping at all. Pretty bad. I don't know. I've been like that since I was like in high school. I don't know. And I feel like I've been doing fine. But maybe I could be better. Because it's like they said. They said, like, if you just focus on, like, the symptoms of a certain, like, disease or disorder, it doesn't fix the disease or disorder. You gotta, like, fix the root cause of it. But I'm just like, but what's making me depressed all, like, for what, 10 years now? It could be a multitude of reasons. Who knows? But it's like, you think if that, if I suddenly fix that, I'm going to sleep on time. I'm going to eat correctly. I just eat when I'm hungry. I'm not like these people who like plan when they eat. Like, I'm going to eat lunch at 12. And then I'm going to eat at uh, 5 or 6. Like, what? That shit was only in high school, you know, when they like made you eat. Or like you went to lunch and shit like that. Is that bad? Because a lot of times I'll talk to my friends and... They'll ask me, like, what I eat for lunch? I'll be like, I haven't eaten yet. But it'll be, like, 5 p.m. I don't know. Even when I used to go to work, I would work from 9 to 7. And some days, or, like, most days, I would just eat when I get off. As well as, like, going to the gym. Sometimes I, like, just won't go to the gym. I'll, I'll just go to the gym without eating. And I think sometimes I'll feel, like, really, really good when I don't eat. You know, when I go fast and stuff like that. But who knows, bro? They said, like, a way of, like, fixing this whole depressive state is, like, to be more grateful, I guess. And I'm just like, uh, does that really work? I do have a friend that does that, and he says it works. But I'm just like, you want me to say I'm grateful for having food every day and a roof over my head? and a bed to sleep. I don't know. Me? I guess that is something something to be grateful for. It's something that we take for granted. But I'm just like, I guess it's more of like appreciating what you have and focusing on like what it is that you have and not what you lack. But I don't know. I've never tried it so I can't really talk down on it. But it's like, let's say I am great. I'm grateful for, you know, everything that I have. And it's like, then I'll be happier, right? And would that mean, like, I just won't want anything more? Like, I'll just be, like, complacent, right? Or content? I don't know. Maybe I should try before I speak. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But I think that is a good thing to, to do. Just focusing on, like, what you have. And therefore, like, whenever you get, like, new things, and if it causes any distress in your life, then it's, like, easy to get rid of. You're like, eh, this isn't adding to it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, it's almost December, Christmas time. Don't know where I want to go. It's either New York or go to Houston. I do want a new tattoo, though. I told myself that I wouldn't get any new tattoos unless I went abroad, but... Man, when am I gonna go abroad again? Next summer? That's like another six months. Like, gap. Yeah. That's a long time. And it's like, if I go, if I get one in next year, next summer, you know damn well I'm getting like two or three. Like, I'm itching. I'm itching for another one. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll adjust the rule. Because it's like, when I go there... When I go, like, abroad, I'm going to have to think of what I want to get. And it's always subject to change. And, uh, you know? So, I don't know. I, 
just want, like, my, this arm, my right arm with the forearm tattoo, it's meant for, like, random pieces that I just want to throw together that I think are cool, that type of stuff. It's kind of more impulsive, you know? I'm being real disciplined with this left one, even though this left one is, like, hella bland, hella blank. I know I said something about keeping my word, but it's like, the impulses, the impulses on my, my tattoo, you know, like, I need to get one, it's looking, it's like kind of addicting, you know, it's like, oh, this one's kind of lonely, like, it needs a friend, that type of shit. One thing that I've recently discovered, back, back in, uh, 2020 during COVID, you know, when we were all locked inside, I, I was on that Omegle grind, you know, that site where you just like go and video chat random strangers. I hopped on that shit every day for like six months. Recently, I've hopped back on it. And what I've realized is, what made me realize this was cause like sometimes I would put off like regular stuff that I would do like either watching YouTube or playing games or going to the gym. I'll like put those off just so I can go talk to strangers. What I realized was, I think I like it cause like it's just nice talking to people that wanna to talk to you. I talk to my friends all the time and my cousins, but sometimes they're busy. And so they're not able to listen to me fully. And you know, you know, you know how it feels to like talk to people and like just, they're not really paying attention. So you're just like, eh, whatever, you know? So I don't know. And I thought that was a bad thing, you know? Like it's like, why do I always feel like I want to be heard, that type of thing. But, maybe, I mean, I'll look into it more, but like, I've accepted that that's just how I am. I wouldn't just talk to anyone. Like, they kind of have to be a certain way, you know? Like I've said before, it's like, I like to talk to people who have something interesting going on, not just bums. Speaking of bums, I was thinking about this in the gym. I was like, this haircut, I don't know what it what it's giving. It's giving a little bit of a dickhead, but oh, I like my old hair because it had a flow, right? But it was like it was giving like bum, and for me, it's like that's kind of the look I want to go for, aesthetic wise, like kind of bummy, not too bummy. It's like a mix of I like the aesthetic of like kind of like bummy. Or like, it's either bummy, slutty, or like, athletic. Those are like the three aesthetics that I think I go for. But this is just, it's just a little too like sharp or like too like clean, you know? But it's okay, it'll grow out and then I'll return to looking like a bum. Yeah, old haircut was nice, but it was really irritating. Like got on my face and like, had like, a lot of hair growth, like almost like a mullet, like that tail shit. Didn't like it. I've been thinking about going on a cut. Cause y'all see my belly. Y'all seen the back. Y'all seen the arms. Y'all seen the chest. Chest needs some work, but the belly, the gut. Oh my god. It's just not like matching the rest. So I might have to go on a cut. I be see. I be seeing some people bulk. And like on their bulk, they're like leaner than me. It pisses me off, honestly. The thing that worries me though is like the cooking. Like I'm for real just gonna eat rice and ground beef. And I'm just like, that can't be good for you. Can't. All that red meat, ground turkey, trash. I could boil up a chicken. Y'all ever boiled up a chicken and just ate it like that? Maybe some of y'all, the Asian ones, but the rest of y'all, y'all just get like chicken tenders and chicken breast and put that shit in the oven. Salt, pepper, put that shit in the oven. But me, I'm fucking with the boiled chicken. That slimy shit. I've been watching a lot of YouTubers, YouTube videos, and I've been fucking with Michelle Toy. Like she, she be doing like living alone diaries. And I know, I know, it's like, I'm pretty sure her target audience, or not target audience, her main, like her 
audience is mainly women. Because it's a bunch of self-care stuff. And, like, girly stuff. But I don't know. I've been fucking with it. It's just kind of therapeutic. Yeah, overall, just been just been uh, focus like watching a lot of girly stuff that's the thing I think with like women you know how they say like men and women aren't equal I would think that's true because we're not the same and I think one thing girls really excel at is like being in tune with their emotions and like I said before that's the shit I'm trying to focus on recently, like, for the past couple of years now. Like, two or three years. And I think it's starting to click. Just a little bit. Like, I talked to my, like, if you were to ask me who are, like, my main friends, I would say it's my cousins. And the cousins that I talk to, they're very in tune with their emotions slash feminine. I don't know. I've just always kind of bonded with that or maybe I've just gotten used to it because I hung out with them a lot when I was still in Houston I don't really fuck with like the whole like people who are too masculine or too manly shit's just draining it's like what do you mean you're talking about guns and fighting and uh ignoring your feelings what do you mean you're gonna disappear and delete your social media and then hop back on it a couple days later, a couple weeks later, at most, I swear to God, I'd be seeing so many people unfollow me, and I'm just like, and then it just shows like they, they just de- deactivate their account, just to see their account three days later, like what's wrong Pookie, what's wrong Pookie, I'm here, tell me how you feel, you know, <sighs> but yeah, that's the thing. I feel like there's like masculine and feminine polarity and like everyone has like their own polarity there's like a mix like there are some people who are like 100% feminine and 100% masculine and I think you just gotta like find people that are like compatible with you like friend wise or relationship wise like me I feel like I'm in the middle maybe I lean towards the feminine side maybe I lean towards the masculine side but I know I got a good mix. I just know I don't fuck with like anyone who's fully masculine. Like whether it's a dude or whether it's a girl. I just don't. And if people are too feminine, just like, don't fuck with that either. So I feel like there's a mix. Better put on this hoodie. I'm not too slutty. Might get raped. And I'm not trying to get raped by anyone around here. Maybe like in a different area, but not here. Oh my god, I look like a child with this haircut. Take your bitch with this haircut. Okay, be right back. Let me see. Nice, nice, nice.